Hello friends, welcome again for another interesting video. Today we are going to build an amazing voice assistant like this. Hi, I am Dan. What's your name? My name is John. Nice to meet you Dan. Nice to meet you too. What do you do for a living? I am a student. What are you studying? Currently I am studying engineering. That's a great course. What is your favorite subject? My favorite course or subject is artificial intelligence. What about yours? My favorite subject is history. Oh, that sounds interesting. It is. I enjoy learning about how the world has changed and evolved over time. Can you tell anything about history? Sure. I can tell you about the American Revolution. It was a conflict between the 13 colonies and Great Britain that lasted from 1775 to 1783. The result of the war was American independence from British rule. That's a lot of information for today. Yes, indeed. But if you're interested, there is much more to explore. So without wasting much time, let's begin the video. There are some prerequisites for this project, which are, first of all you need to install Python, and the second one is to have a proper internet connection, then you'll need a code editor where you can write your own code. I'll be using Visual Studio Code for the entire project as it provides various extensions which helps me to write the code easily. Now go to a particular location and create a folder. I'll name it ChatGPT Voice Assistant and you can name it anything. Now you need to open this directory in the Visual Studio Code. For that, open the folder and go to the path bar. Then type cmd. In the cmd, type code space dot. Visual Studio Code will be open in that directory. Now here we need to create a new file. Let's name it assistant.py. And again, I am saying it can be any name. It really doesn't matter. For this project, we'll be needing some Python libraries. For that. Open terminal by pressing Ctrl J on Windows and Linux and Command plus J for Mac. The first one is speech recognition. In order to install, type pip install speech recognition. Then the second library which we'll be needing is OpenAI. And finally, we'll be needing PyTTSX3 for converting speech to text. After installing all the required libraries, we are good to go. Now let's just import speech recognition, PyTTSX3 and OpenAI. Now we'll need the OpenAPI key to make our voice assistant working. So for that, head over to the browser and search for openai.com forward slash API. And here you'll either need to be login or register. Just use Google account to register. After that, you'll be redirected to this page. Now click on your profile and select View API Keys. And here you can create new secret key. Now just copy the key and paste it here. Don't use my API key as it will not work for you. So you need to get your own API key and paste it here. Now we'll need to initialize PyTTSX3. I'll explain this code in a bit. Here you are just setting the voice of the assistant. So depending on the number, your assistant will be either your male voice or a female voice. So you can tinker with that. After that, we can initialize the recognizer function of speech recognition. 
and we will tell the assistant to use the microphone of index 1. Now we will create three variables. The first one will be the conversation where all the conversations will be stored and the next one will be the username which can be any name and finally bot name. This name also can be anything. Now we need to check whether we are speaking or not. For that we will listen for the input in the mic. If we did not speak, it will wait for 2 seconds and again it will start listening. This process will continue till we say something. And if it recognizes our voice, it will print no longer listening. And it will save our voice into the audio variable. Now we need to convert our voice into text. For that we will be using PyTTS X3. Here it has many functions, from this you can use any one. But for more accurate results, we can use recognize google function. Now it will automatically get converted into text and will be saved in the user input variable. Now we can give a particular format which will be printed in the output screen. Now we have come to the important part of this video where you can get the input from the OpenAI and convert it into speech. So for that head over to the browser, again open the site and click on playground. Here you can see different models which can be used for our projects. You can use any model depending on your requirement. Basically codecs can be used when you need a coding solution of the problem. But for general usage, we can use text DaVinci. Now click on view code and just copy this part of the code. Now again open VS code and paste it below this line. If you don't want to waste your time copying all of it, just write it from here. Now we will just get the response from the assistant and store it in the response string. And then we will set the format of the assistant which will be displayed in the output screen which would be your username followed by the input then the bot name followed by its response. Now we can set the response string to the conversation and print the output. Finally, we need to convert the response string to voice and then we are done with this program. If you have any problem following along, no need to worry, I will be providing the link for this code in the video's description so that you can just copy it and replace the API key with yours and run the program. Sorry friends, I have just made a mistake here which was I did not give the model any prompt. So I was, get, I was not getting the output. Just go here and type conversation. So in order to see its implementation, let's run the program. For that, open the terminal and type python followed by the file name. In my case, it's assistant.py. Hello there, how are you? I'm doing great, how about you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. No problem, glad to hear it. What is your name? My name is John. What's yours? I am Dan. Nice to meet you, Dan. Have a great day. Thank you, you too have a great day. You too. You can basically ask any questions to it and it would answer you. It works in a very simple manner. Basically, it recognizes the text and picks the confident one and processes the response. 
I don't know if you have noticed this or not. Here I said my name was Dan and it recognized Dan. But the AI is so intelligent that it got what I was trying to say. So that's what makes it so awesome. So friends we have come to an end of this video. If you enjoyed this content make sure to hit like, subscribe to this channel and on the post notifications to see more interesting contents like this. With that said, let's meet in the next one.